Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can read the text version of this quiz. Now for regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. What is Ganga Avlokan, which was in news recently? So it is a museum and it is a first of its kind museum and it is a museum on river Ganga and it is in Haridwar and Haridwar is in Uttarakhand. Recently Uttarakhand was in news as it partnered with ITBP for the promotion of tourism in the state. ITBP is Indo-Tibbatian Border Police. Recently ITBP was in news as the ITBP chief SS Deshwal was given the additional charge of NSZ that is National Security Guard. So he has been given the additional charge of NSZ as Director General. Now there is one more NSZ, it is Nuclear Supplier Group. Answer in comment box whether India is a member of that NSZ or not. So Uttarakhand partnered with ITBP for the promotion of tourism in the state. And recently World Tourism Day was celebrated on 27th of September. On the other hand 30th of September was celebrated as International Translation Day. India announced establishment of a green strategic partnership with which country? So this country is Denmark and under this partnership India and Denmark are going to cooperate in the fields of energy, environment and various other sectors. The capital of Denmark is Copenhagen and the currency of Denmark is Danish Krone. BSC partnered with which bank to empower small and medium enterprises that is SME. So for this purpose BSC partnered with Yes Bank. Recently Yes Bank was also in news as former MD and CEO of Yes Bank Rana Kapoor was fined by SEBI and he was fined by SEBI and the fine was 1 crore rupees. SEBI is Security and Exchange Board of India. Recently Yes Bank was also in news as it partnered with SDFC Life to sell insurance by SDFC Life to its own customers. Recently SEBI was also in news as SEBI chairperson Ajay Tyagi was given an extension of 18 months as SEBI chairperson. Apart from that recently GP Garg became the new executive director of SEBI. CatQ that was in news recently is a virus said to have emerged in which country? So this country is China and recently ICMR that is Indian Council of Medical Research issued guidelines in this context. This virus comes from Culex, mosquitoes and pigs. Now recently ICMR was in news as Dr. Harshwardhan who is our present health minister released a 100 years timeline history of ICMR. ICMR is serving the nation since 1911. Apart from that China was also in news as the confirmed case of bubonic plague was found in Yunnan province of China. So please note that this CATQ is a virus. It emerged in China and recently ICMR released guidelines in this context and the virus is found in the pigs and in Culex mosquitoes. Amnesty International has announced to quit from which country? So it is India. Now this Amnesty International works in the field of human rights. It is a non-governmental organization that is NGO. Recently NGO said that the government of India has frozen its bank account. On the other hand as per the government of India Amnesty International is receiving foreign funding and it was involved in violation of FCRA that is Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. So this act was enacted in 2010. The headquarters of Amnesty International is in London. Now coming back to FCRA recently it was in news because of amendments. It was also in news because of Golden Temple as Golden Temple is now registered under FCRA therefore it can receive the foreign funding. If we talk about amendments Aadhaar is mandatory for foreign funding now. Funding cannot be transferred that means even if the other party is registered under FCRA the fund received by one party cannot be transferred to another party. And then there is a limit on administrative expenses. Answer in comment box what is the new limit on administrative expenses as per this FCRA. 
which automobile company has shortlisted five startups to promote innovation in automobile sector. So this was done by Maruti Suzuki and this was done under mail program. What is this mail program? It stands for mobility and automobile innovation lab program. So this is an initiative associated to Maruti Suzuki. The idea is to promote innovations in the automobile sector. Now in this context, there was important term in economic survey of this year and the name of this term and this term is creative destruction. Please read about this term and its impact on the economy. Until which month RBI has extended the enhanced borrowing facility for banks under MSF. So it is March 2021. So under MSF RBI has extended this timeline by six more months. It is important to note that recently RBI had increased the limit of borrowing under MSF from existing 2% of NDTL to now 3%. What is NDTL? It is net demand and time liabilities. Recently RBI was also in news as former RBI governor Amitabh Ghosh passed away. RBI was also in news as recently it named Amitabh Bachchan for its customer awareness campaign. And Mr. Bachchan was also in news as he is going to provide voice to Amazon's digital assistant Alexa. Now please read about MSF that is marginal standing facility and LAF that is liquidity adjustment facility and what is NDTL. Which astronomical observatory of India has completed five years of mapping stars? So AstroSat has completed five years of mapping stars. AstroSat was launched by ISRO. ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. Now this AstroSat is India's first multi-wavelength observatory. Please remember this is India's first multi-wavelength observatory and it has five telescope of different wavelength. These are visible, near UV that is ultraviolet, far UV, soft X-ray and hard X-ray. So it has five telescope of these five wavelength and that is why it is multi-wavelength and it is India's first such multi-wavelength system. Recently, this AstroSat was also in use because of AUDF S01. What is this AUDF S01? It is a galaxy and it is one of the earliest galaxy in the extreme UV that is in extreme ultraviolet light and this has been discovered with the help of AstroSat. Which Indian actor has been conferred with United Nations Development Programs SDG Special Humanitarian Action Award? So Sonu Sood has been conferred with this Special Humanitarian Action Award of UNDP that is United Nations Development Program. Sonu Sood was also in news as recently he was appointed as the brand ambassador of ESA. Recently UNDP was also in news because of its report from insights to action and as per this report because of COVID-19 47 million women will be pushed in poverty. So you can see the impact of this disease on the vulnerable section of society. Flipkart and which general insurance company has launched insurance cover for online financial frauds. So for this purpose Flipkart has collaborated with Bazaar's Allianz. So this is to provide insurance cover for online financial frauds. Recently Flipkart was also in use as it partnered with Uttar Pradesh government for one district one product initiative. Recently Uttar Pradesh was also in news as it won 8 awards for the implementation of Garib Kalyan Rozgar Abhiyan. So this was an initiative for the betterment of laborers and recently Uttar Pradesh won the awards for the implementation of this initiative. Recently Bazaar's Allianz was in news as it appointed Ayushman Khurana as a new brand ambassador. Ayushman Khurana was also in news as Toyota Kirloska Motor appointed Ayushman Khurana as the brand ambassador for Toyota Urban Cruiser. This Toyota Urban Cruiser was launched recently. Which banking entity has partnered with American Express to offer its premium products on American Express Network? So for this purpose, SBI Cards has partnered with American Express. Now because of this partnership, the premium products of SBI cards will now be available on American Express Network. So SBI Card Elite and SBI Card Prime 
services are going to be available on American Express Network. India is set to acquire 72,000 assault rifle from which country? So this country is USA. And recently DAC, that is Defense Acquisition Council headed by our Defense Minister approved this proposal of acquisition of 72,000 assault rifles from USA. Now, present Defense Minister is Mr. Rajnath Singh. Recently he was in news as an empowered group of ministers, that is EGOM, was constituted for the corporatization of Ordnance Factory Board. And this EGOM is to be headed by Mr. Rajnath Singh. Apart from him, recently he was also in news because of a bouquet of flowers. And this is a book which was recently launched by Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh. And this is a book written by Dr. Krishna Saxena. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. Feel free to skip it if you do not like the format. So first is related to Babri Masjid demolition case. Why it was in news? Because of CBI verdict. So recently CBI, that is Central Bureau of Investigation, gave verdict in this case and CBI acquitted all 32 accused in this case. Now this Babri demolition date is 6th of December 1992 and this Masjid or this mosque was in Ayodhya and it was situated on a hill named Ramkot. So these are important points associated to this case from exam perspective. Now one more thing, CBI represent India in Interpol. Interpol is international police, headquarter is in Lyon in France and India is going to host Interpol conference in 2022. Next is Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmad Al Sabah. So he was a ruler of Kuwait and he passed away recently. Next is rapid diagnostic test for coronavirus. So recently WHO along with its partners decided to roll out 120 million rapid diagnostic test for COVID-19 and this is going to help the lower and middle income countries and this will help these countries to test a large number of population. Next is prescribed rates for treatment of COVID-19. So recently Madhya Pradesh government made it mandatory for all the hospitals to display the prescribed rate of treatment for COVID-19. Next is Warehouse Commodity Finance Act. So recently, SDFC Bank launched this India's first Warehouse Commodity Finance App. So this is first such initiative in our country. Next is Harijan Sevak Sang. So this was an initiative which was started by Gandhiji and it was started on 30th of September in 1932. The objective was to combat untouchability and for this purpose a new weekly paper was also started and the name of this paper was Hari Jan. Hari Jan means children of God and it was the name given by Gandhiji to the untouchables and to combat untouchability Gandhiji started this initiative. Now in this context article 17 of Indian constitution is important as it prohibits the untouchability and it abolishes the untouchability. Next is Dharani so, this is an initiative to be launched by Telangana government. The objective is integrated land record management. So, this is related to land record and for that purpose, the online database of land will be prepared for better management and this will be started by Telangana government. Next is India's first vulture conservation and breeding center. So, this is going to be in Gorakhpur and this Gorakhpur is in Uttar Pradesh. Next is India's first tram library. So this was recently started in Kolkata that is in West Bengal and this was started by West Bengal Tourism Corporation. And last news is related to Sekhar Kapoor. So recently Sekhar Kapoor, the noted filmmaker has been appointed as the president of FTII. What is FTII? It is Film and Television Institute of India and he is going to replace BP Singh. So these were the most important events. Now homework, so please read about Global Counter-Terrorism Council, IDX4 4G and User Depot Module. So that was all for the day. Thank you.